Hello everyone, in this video I would like to introduce the Rate Management Operations or in short RMO which was released in Maros 933 and RMO allows the control of a node rate as a result of the flow through another node. If you have not explored this feature, stay tuned for the next few minutes as we are going to show the RMO application through a simple case study. In this example, it describes a system where three wells fit into a processing facility and finally to an export node. We have configured well 1 to be richer in oil when compared to well 2 and 3. And there are two trains in the oil processing facility with generic equipment in a 2x50 setup. And we have a demand of 100,000 barrels per day so all wells have to run at full capacity. When there is no RMO, and when one of the trains in the production facility fails, the network must then deliver 50,000 debt barrels per day, and the demand for this will be met proportionally from well 1, 50%, which is 20,000 barrels per day, and 50% from well 2 and well 3, which is 15,000 barrels per day. So in a hypothetical situation where the analyst wants to prioritize and maximize the well with the highest production capacity while running the lower capacity wells at a minimum, then you will need the RMO. I will set the RMO on the oil production facilities and to do that, you need to right click on the node, select properties, select rate ops tab and cl click to add the rate control mechanism. I've selected the common action and configured the threshold range between 0 to 50 percent. And the description here says that um, this will allow and modify these specified rates when the rate at this node is between 0 and 50 percent of the node capacity, which is true because once one of the train in the oil production facility is down, then you are left with 50% of the node capacity. So once this has been triggered, you would then modify the rates of the targeted nodes, which would be well 2 and well 3. And because well 1, we want to maximize well 1, uh, it has already uh, 40,000 barrels per day. Uh, the remaining 10,000 barrels per day will then be equally split between well 2 and well 3. Then we run the model. So I've ran the model earlier. So rate management operations are categorized as occurrences which affect the behavior of the system in a controlled state. So the rate management uh, operations would cause a change in the capacity on the well nodes as we have configured earlier. So as you can see, once one of the train is down, it will control the rate that is coming out from well 2 and well 3. The losses attributed by the rate management operations are a type of event and it is then reported under the event criticality table. So under the results view, criticality folder, the RMOs number 6 and 7 are causing 0.138% of absolute loss for each well. Having said that, the changes in operating rates on well 2 and well 3 did not cause any production losses, which is usually attributed by scheduled or unscheduled downtime. Rather, in this scenario, the changes in the operating rates have caused a lower than expected production in a controlled manner and the absolute losses are quantified as a gap between the normal production rate and the rate which was been reduced by the reference node, which was the uh, production facility in this case. Okay, I hope you gained a better understanding on how to use the RMO and what it does to the model. If you have any questions or feedback about our RAM products, please email digital at dmv.com. Take care and bye for now.